finally I'm here to uh, share to you my good experience how I obtained my PRC authenticated ID without appearing to the PRC branch so stay tuned and please consider subscribing to my channel shell files so uh, thank you for uh, joining me in this episode so yun nga po I'm happy to uh, share to you my experience sa pagkuha po ng PRC uh, authenticated ID without me going personally to the PRC branch okay so by the way um, sa PRC Baguio branch po prinoses ang aking application so, narito po ang mga requirements pa yung authorization letter. Okay? Ang authorization letter na to ang, ang magbibigay po ng authority dun po sa friend nyo or relative or close friend nyo po para magproseso po ng inyong um, PRC authentication application. Okay? So, ito po yung format sa paggawa. Okay? Kung gusto nyo po ng uh, soft copy po nito or template, uh, pwede ko pong i-share po ito sa inyo. Okay? So, itong author. So, in my case, ang uh, napakiusapan ko po ng mag-process po ng aking PRC uh, authentication application ay ang aking pamangkin. <coughs> po kay Neneng. Thank you so much. So, okay mga ka-shell files, dumako naman tayo sa number 2 requirement which is your uh, photocopy of your PRC ID. So, sa isang papel lang po, nandun na yung uh, uh, photocopy ng PRC ID nyo. Nandun na yung front page ng PRC ID at saka yung back page of your PRC ID. So, make two copies of this. Okay. At kung meron na po kayong um, document stamp na dalawa, pwede nyo na rin po siyang isama sa parcel. Kasi in my case, wala po akong extra na document stamp. So, uh, yung pamangkin ko na lang po ang bumili ng uh, document stamp sa PRC ID. Uh, PRC office, sorry. So, uh, ang third requirement ay yung action sheet for authentication which can be downloaded uh, online so comment down below kung gusto nyo po ng soft copy nito or I will just um, uh, send you this so this is just one page and advice ko lang po na bago nyo po ipadala sa LBC ay uh, fill up nyo na po yung mga details dito para less uh, task pa nung authorized person nyo. So, ayun po, ayun po yung mga main requirements na kailangan nyo pong ilagay sa loob ng inyong um, part Uh, risky po ba na mag-include kayo, na-include nyo po yung uh, PRC ID nyo? Well, ang sagot ko po dyan, it is kind of uh, risky po talaga kasi nga, syempre uh, original PRC ID mo to, so kailangan po talaga sana personally na pumunta tayo doon sa PRC office, but then ECQ kasi siya, so challenging po talaga ang magbiyahe that time so i really i finally decided na na uh, ipa-arrange ko na lang po ito kay pamangkin so thankfully thank god dahil maayos naman po na nakarating sa akin yung mga documents ko along with my PRC ID so god is good all the time 
So, gusto ko lang din pong um, i-recommend po yung services po ng LBC. Napakabilis po ng servisyo po talaga nila. So, it took me two days para uh, uh, I mean, it took two days for my pamangkin to receive my parcel. Okay? And yung one day naman po bumalik sa akin yung parcel from my pamangkin. So, it was really very good service um, ng LBC. that's a wrap up thank you so much for watching i hope you found this video helpful and if you have any questions just comment down below and i will answer them as soon as i can thank you so much and i'll see you in the next video bye